In this class, we are going to learn how to build the scheduled integration with the help of Oracle Integration 3. In our classes so far, we had seen how to build the integration to expose over a SOAP web service or to expose as a REST endpoint. But we had not seen a case wherein we can create an integration which will not expose in any of the protocols. Rather, we want some integration to run at a specified period of time like every 10 minutes or once in a hour or once in a day or once in a week. We need an integration to run so that you can have various business needs like picking the file from the FTP server, getting the data, inserting into database or some other applications. So you want some automation jobs, something like that scenario to be built with the help of integration. So in that case, we can go for this scheduled integration. So without wasting much time, let's begin with our hands on and see how we can create the scheduled integrations with the help of integration 3. In order to create a scheduled integration, click on this create button on the right top corner. So there are two options. One is application. Suppose if you want to expose your integration or REST or so protocol or any other protocol, you can just go for this application. And if you want your integration to run over at a specified period of time in a day or in a week, then just select this schedule. Provide the name. I will write over here demo scheduled int. Click on create. Here, what this scheduled integration will do is it will run at a specified period of time. I will show you later how we can define the schedule for running this integration. Now, at least one activity is needed in order to demonstrate the case. What I will do is I will invoke our REST connection that is invoking external web service. Here, what I will do is I will provide the name as invoke get country details. That's fine. And the endpoint I will copy from my postman. This is a template parameter over here, which is the country's name. Done. And in the response, I will add the response. This is not required as we are just demonstrating the schedule integration. But at least some activity is needed between the schedule action and the end action. I just it won't allow you to activate this integration. As I told, these scheduled integrations are basically used for the scheduled jobs like picking the dump of file or a file from a FTP server and updating in a Fusion, Oracle, SAS or any other application or a database. For such kind of purpose, we are using this scheduled integration so that it will run at a periodic time and it will pick the file or do some stuff like that. Just click on next. Click on next. In the response, I will give the response for this API. copy this and paste it over here. So all those things we had seen in the earlier class in this course, like what is this API? So I had demonstrated that this API is from this REST countries API, which we had seen while learning how to build the integrations to invoke any external web services. So you can refer that class for more details in order to know what is this API doing. Click on next and click on done. Now we are having few actions between this end or a stop action and between this scheduled action. Now this API is accepting at least one parameter as we have created a template parameter. So I will add a template parameter over here in the mapper. Expand the template parameter, right click, create a target node. Now here I will provide name as India. Yeah, just go back, apply the changes. Click on save. Now there is one error over here. Let's see what is the error. So we didn't add the business identifier. So okay, let's add it. Click on this business identifier. I will add this start time. That's fine. Click on save. Done. Suppose if you want to add any schedule definition right from here, we can add that as well. If you want to replace this with some other connection, or if you want to convert the schedule to rest, we can do that as well. So if you click on this edit, here you can define the parameters which we will learn in our coming classes. So in this class, this is just a demo class in which we will show how to create a scheduled integration. Now let's go back and activate this scheduled integration. So if you want to add the schedule, we can add right from here, edit and add schedule for this integration or we can add later as well. Click on activate. Let me just refresh and check the status. Yeah, our integration is activated. Like we had seen how we can test any REST based integration. Similar like that, we can 
submit the job for this schedule integration as well that is we can click on this run here we can select two things one is the ad hoc request suppose we are manually hitting this or running this integration then we can go for this ad hoc request suppose if you are going as part of some schedule we can just select this and we can run this integration now as i am scheduling this integration as an ad hoc basis like manually i am triggering i am clicking on run so when you click on run what it will do is it will do the operations what we have defined in this flow like we have a uh, invocation for the get countries api it is making a call to countries so in the mapper we had sent country as india and it has invoked the api and got the details for india so like this we will have a complex business use case as well like getting the data from one system updating to other system frequently for syncing data migration so and so forth things in that case our schedule integration will be useful in our next class we will learn how to add the schedule so that this integration will run at a periodic frequency